Euh, ils m'ont étonné. Euh, ça fait deux semaines que je suis là. Je suis arrivé au club. Et il euh, y a quand même des gens qui parlent avec un nouveau coach. Ils disent, ouais, ça ou ça ou ça. Euh, donc, il y avait beaucoup de négativité peut-être. Euh, dans le club aussi, quelques entraîneurs qui sont passés cette année. Et ils m'ont étonné dans le bon sens que euh, ce groupe s'est réuni très, très vite, en deux semaines. Euh, et ça se voit dans, dans la mentalité. Donc, euh, j'étais très surpris de, de trouver un groupe où, qui se sont soudés si vite euh, dans, dans 14 jours. De l'autre côté, je m'attendais le premier match euh, d'un niveau un peu plus, plus haut. Euh, là, on a subi vraiment presque tout le match. Mais aujourd'hui, déjà, euh, tu vois que euh, dans le jeu, c'était beaucoup mieux que le premier match. On a gardé le plus le ballon et on est sorti plus facilement par rapport euh, au premier match. Donc, euh, le premier match, ils m'ont étonné dans le sens que j'attendais un peu plus. Mais ici, ils m'ont étonné dans le bon sens qu'ils ont donné beaucoup plus que j'attendais. Et le score aussi, c'est fantastique. Ça m'a étonné aussi un tout petit peu, je dois être honnête, parce que euh, je donnais plus de chance à Sundance pour passer. Euh, donc, euh, très heureux de tout le monde. Would you mind just a quick brief? Uh, yes. She asked me if my team surprised me. I said yes, because um, I came in two weeks ago and um, when, you spoke, when I spoke to people in, in, in the club, there was a lot of negativity uh, in the team. Oh, this one does this, this one is behavior and that, that. But I have to say that in two weeks' time, um, they reunited again. And that you see in the two games that it was really um, a team on the pitch. Maybe in the first game, they surprised me that I expected a little bit more quality on, in possession. And today, they, they astonished me in their mentality, in their group spirit. And also in the score, because I gave it a bit more chance, to be honest, to Sundowns to go through more than us. But in the end, um, as I said in the first question, experience won over a little bit more quality. It's great, sir. Okay. Um, coach, very little to say, you see. Um, yesterday, you spoke about um, not, you spoke about um, avoiding going to to tour with Sundowns. Um, And during the week, one of the things that the Sundowns coach has spoken about um, was his concern about the set plays that he felt he dominated uh, in Casablanca. And, and looking at the winning goal, in fact, the goal that, that took you through um, today, was this a big factor for you to the set plays? Yes, um, I told already yesterday that we have an advantage in the air. And I think we scored two headers, one on a cross and one on a set piece. Um, it was also in the first leg an idea to To, to score on set pieces and if you can do it away it's even better so yes uh, we knew that we had an advantage in the air and i think we succeeded in exploiting at least one and maybe also the first one you can count as a, a cross with a header and especially on their left defender Hello, please go ahead. good evening coach uh, congratulations on the victory uh, Can you maybe just take us through what exactly is it for, for one to go through you know, such games? I mean, it's a massive, massive game. Maybe just the little breezes of the way they are in the league. And secondly, coach, the supporters, uh, were you scored or equalized rather, you know, they were quiet and indifferent from your supporters. When you guys go down at home, the supporters pay you on. Is that also a massive difference of health and trust between them supporters? Thank you. On your first question, it's my first time. <laughs> Okay, I, I had the uh, experience to, to win AFCON as an assistant coach in 2017. I win some local trophies, but uh, in the Champions League, uh, it's also my first semi-final and final. So it gives you, yeah, in the last minutes, it gives you a lot of nerves. And after the game, it's a massive weight that goes from your shoulder. Um, and I'm quite calm person. Uh, on the bench also, but still even calm persons on that after such results gets emotional and excited. Um, on your second question, yes, I think it's a bit culture. Um, maybe because of football in northern countries is the number one sport. Here, I think there are other sports that maybe are a little bit bigger than, than football. 
um, and then you see that uh, oh, we're one zero up, we have what we want, so we, we go quiet. I think it's a massive difference. Uh, I think it's culture maybe a little bit, um, but uh, I cannot talk about too much because it, <laughs> our fans are great um, and they have to stay great. And I think there will be 60, 70,000 uh, in Casablanca for the second leg in the final to support us. Congratulations on your victory. But looking at your first match and this one as well, playing 0 0 at home and coming to South Africa, what is it that you are banking on? Um, that uh, would actually see you through and just take us I mean, through to the, to the final. Playing Al Ali as well, uh, just looking at how they are. I mean, they've got the Tessita as well and they who's representing South Africa. What does it say to you knowing that you're going to play Al Ali and what, what worked for you in the first and second year to take you through? When I started analyzing sundowns, um, I think my full staff was aware of their qualities and their strengths. Um, you could feel during two games um, when Sundowns takes the ball that they push us back either if we press or don't press. They have passing skills and dribbling skills in midfield, up front, even in the back. Um, so we knew it, it's, it was, it was going to be a very difficult game um, and we um, did almost 70% defensive work on training. Uh, who goes out, who doesn't, who stay, who picks up the midfielder on the opposite side. Um, but still, because they move so good and they turn all the game around, it's difficult to pick up people. Um, so sometimes um, that's communication. And then you have the fans. When you have 60, 70,000, you even don't hear what he says 10 meters further. Um, so that's experience that comes up. Um, and I think this team uh, of Widot, who's in the semi-final in the last five years, if I'm not wrong, you can see that this maturity and experience helped us a lot uh, over the two legs. For the final, it's the same final as last year. So I can imagine that uh, Alakli wants revenge uh, over, uh, over Widot. Um, but I think it will be even more balanced game than this semi-final. Uh, because I, this semi-final, uh, Sundowns dominated in the game. I think against Alakli we can play a more our game. Uh, although I don't, I know them well, but I didn't start analyzing because I was focused on this on this uh, game. Now we have two games, one in the cup and the league. So let's focus first on these games before we go into the final. We're very happy to go to the final, uh, like everyone else who plays the final. But we are in four competitions. So, yes, we're still in the cup next Tuesday. Then we go in the weekend for the league. And then we also play in July the Rabbit Cup. So we have massive objectives coming up and game by game. Um, but in such games, you don't have to motivate players. In the final, they're always there and everyone. So it's going to be an easy game for the coach to motivate. Thank you, Scott. Coach Lorenzo uh, Fabregesi, perhaps he's been in the job for 14, 15 days. Uh, just how mentally training has it been for you to try and compete for this game? The first leg, obviously, as well. Um, and just prepare yourself for obviously what it means that was after favorites uh, for the trophy. When you go in such games, and you have the feeling after analyzing the opponent that um, they have a lot of strengths. Yes, then you go to defense and mental training. And I must say that to reunite everyone, we did a special mental training and exercise that I got from a psychologist in Belgium that I do for many years. And it helps because you can see everyone's um, attitude uh, in a short period of time. So when you arrive and you don't have a lot of information and I don't want to listen to everyone because everyone gives you information. It's so much, it's better to see with your own eyes. And it helps me a lot to, to analyze the team 
and who's the leader who's this uh, who's the water who's carrying the water who's uh, um, and from this point of view you're gonna set up your tactics um, and I think it went well <laughs> um, but especially the guys picked up very well because we can provide things in the end it's always the players on the pitch who does the job we can guide them we can give them instructions but they have to do it they have to show the quality and uh, the mentality to do it and they did very well so the massive compliment goes to them not to me yes, can you just go to the back please uh, coach at the back here um a month ago where were you sitting and could you have um envisaged the position that you find yourself in now were you on a beach somewhere what were you doing a month ago before the call came from uh, uh, I have to count. I'll take my agenda, but I think I was just home. Uh, I think one month ago they played the quarterfinal against Simba, my my old team, uh, my former team. I watched it um, because I was in a job before in Morocco. I was following the the league, um, but more concentrated on the European league because uh, in my heart I had a little ambition to go to Europe. Um, but when we that comes. And they call you uh, in the middle of the night you wake up and you take a plane ticket the next day um so i was not on holiday i was with the family because i was seven years in africa it was uh, time to spend time with the family and they were happy as well and following in the meantime the league morocco european leagues um but in the end very happy to be here and as you asked yesterday my two weeks are a little bit extended <laughs> As there are questions in the middle, yeah, please question go ahead. Back, the question is in Africa. Which is talk that back home, a lot of the media are criticizing this you know, as a black side. A lot of opinions saying it's not the strongest team. For you as a coach, what role have you played in trying to shield the team from all those media reports and helping them focus on the job it had that is successful to you? In the north of Africa, they like criticizing. They're um it's almost a habit with them so players are used to it uh players of widat who are in the club for five four years they know it happens and they're mentally very very strong um to shield them yes you take away pressure you take away after zero zero and one man more in the first leg that it was not a bad game that they played well uh, you, you change your talks to the media sometimes I don't say you lie, but maybe you hide the truth a little bit or you change the truth a little bit uh, to make your story in your dress room and to the media to protect them, to shield them and to make them comfortable a little bit that you're next to them. You're like a brother sometimes or a father. So yeah, it's a role that you play sometimes to be hard on them inside and sometimes or most of the time protect them outside. And if you see our number 10 who comes in uh, in the last 10 minutes, he was criticized a lot. When he came out after 60 minutes in the first leg, they whistled to get him off the pitch. And in the end, it's him maybe playing his best 10 minutes of the, of the whole season to take us in the last 10 minutes over the end and to make a uh, uh, winning time and keeping the ball. So they know it. They're used to it. I don't say they're trained for it, but they can they can have something. And my role is this extra 20% to protect them. And that's a role you can play like Mourinho sometimes. And the last question for me is Rafa. Uh, coach. Coach, uh, I'm Mohelo from Soccer Duma. Congratulations on the victory, first of all, and progressing to the final. As yesterday, you conceded that Sundowns are the best team in Africa, and you're not the first coach to claim that. Um, but today, you've obviously been victorious. You still, you still think that that's the case, and what is it that you think that they like that they can't show it in the form of the trophy in the Champions League? I still believe in what I said yesterday. I think if you look at the technical and variations in their offensive play, um, I think you didn't see this in Africa for the ah, never. So they're very strong in this. Um, but to give an example, I think it, take, it took many, many years for the runners to go one mile under four minutes. And once it happened, one month after, I think there were another five 
sometimes you have to win something to get over that point. And we that Casablanca is used to win some things and they won already Champions League. Um, so maybe just that extra experience, um, extra mental part that plays. Uh, but if they continue like this, I think they will dominate next couple of years uh, the Champions League. I will not say they will win it, but they will dominate and always go far. But to really continue a period of winning trophies, you have to get your first one. And not on the local league, but on the continent.